Hi, I'm Ernie Conover. As the name implies, woodturners generally think of wood as their material of choice. However, there are a lot of other substances that may be turned handily, really, in a wood lathe. One of the most interesting is what's called tagua nuts, which are the nut of the ivory palm tree. When you get them, they often have a rind around them, which is the way they grew. Uh, this one was attacked by a varmint, probably a mouse, and the center was eaten out of it. It's no good. Other ones uh, will come out and be just fine. They range in size from the size of a walnut to a hen's egg. The nice thing about them is that once turned, they're indistinguishable from ivory. You'll always find a little dot here, which is where the nut was attached and gained its nutrients during the growing process. They grow in a burr, which is a collection of about 50 to 75 nuts. And our first job is to really sand a little flat spot opposite the attachment point so that we can turn a small bowl or vessel out of this. I've mounted a glue block on a faceplate and turned it to a little pedestal about the size of a dime. And with my disc sander, I've sanded a like flat spot on the Togwa nut. And by using my tailstock, I can kind of figure out where I'm going to maximize the yield out of this nut. I'll now glue it to the faceplate by simply taking a little bit of super glue, put it right there like that, and I'll spray a little accelerator or catalyst and just bring those two together. Okay, our super glue is dry now. It seems to be well attached. And we're going to do a little bit of turning on the outside, but we're mostly going to turn the inside of the little miniature vessel we're making here. Togwa nuts, about 95% of them will have a bit of a void in the middle of it, a fissure. A few do not have any at all, but most do. So uh, we are going to just go down in here and sort of find the fissure turn that away, get something that has a nice shape, and then turn the outside to match that shape. You can turn Tagua with spindle turning tools. They have to be very sharp. It loves scraping. So most of the final work you do on this will be with scrapers. And there we can see the attachment point leads into a fissure. This nut does have a fissure in it. So now we'll start hollowing it out. Okay, now that I have this started, I can save an awful lot of time and effort by coming in here with a drill. Here's a little scraper that I've made uh, from an old uh, wood chisel and it will hollow this out very nicely. You want to take very light cuts there. I lost my checking. Not a big deal. I'll just recheck it. But you can see how we're hollowing that out very nicely. Okay, I rechecked by using my tailstock to center the opening over the glue block. And I've continued scraping now, taking very light cuts. Okay, we've now uh, got a nice inside turned and we'll now turn the outside to match it. Okay, now we're gonna use our spindle gouge to shape the outside of this, taking very light cuts. See that nice ivory color coming up? And you can see we still have some of the 
rind of the nut there. I often leave some of that to show that it is tagua nut. can make the turning more interesting. You can see how the polish I'm getting right off the tools with a really sharp tool with a rubbing bevel. That's what you want. Okay, we're going to now sand this very lightly with some 320 grit sandpaper. You can go to 400 if you want to. Now we'll take a little piece of paper towel and any kind of polish. This is Simichrome, which is really a metal polish, but it'll work fine. Automotive buffing compounds work great. By using a piece of paper, it's much safer if it was to be grabbed. It's going to rip and not hurt your finger as much. We now can cut that off. We're going to do most of the cutting in the glue block. And there we have our finished M4. A second great way to chuck this is to find the attachment point and put that against a four jaw chuck with a set of tower jaws. And then sort of play around here until you find what you think is the best centering. That looks pretty good right there. I'm putting up a fair amount of tail stock pressure. I simply take a square nose scraper here, scrape a nice little tenon, and grab that in a four jaw chuck just like that. We've got a very secure hold. We can do anything we want to it now. I very much encourage you to buy some ivory nuts. You can get them from a variety of sources. You can find them on Amazon, about a buck a nut. But buy a few and go nuts with some ivory nut turning.